Hi, it's Rachel from 7 and All, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing my read aloud picks for the 2024-2025 school year. In this school year, I am going to have a first grader as well as a pre-k and a baby. So I'm aiming these picks mostly at my two older sons, especially the oldest. For his first grade year, we will be using issues from Morning Virtues, from Gentle and Classical, and that will be um, kind of shaping our beauty subjects, composer, as well as music and memory work. Now, as part of Morning Virtues, they do have books um, scheduled, read aloud chapter books, scheduled to fit the theme, whatever the theme is. This one is kindness. However, these chapter books, I don't think are the most ideal Typically, if your oldest is in first grade, you can definitely use morning virtues with a first grader. Um, but I think, you know, if you have children of different ages, it's a very different dynamic. If your oldest is in first grade and you have younger children versus if your oldest is maybe in third grade and you also have a first grader and a kindergartner, that kind of changes the dynamics a bit. So for this year, I did pick a few that were recommended in morning virtues of the kind of young, the ones that were more appropriate for younger kids but my priority was really books that I felt were gonna be a good level for this stage as I have not read them many chapter books yet. We've done just a few, like we've done Winnie the Pooh, some simple beginner chapter books, um, but I wanted to really choose chapter books that were good for the beginner to listening to chapter books, not to make this too challenging or too much of a stretch. So I believe I have 13 books to share with you. Um, my what kind of shape to that was if we're doing six morning virtues that would kind of schedule you to do 12 read alouds because each one schedules you two read alouds 12 read alouds throughout the school year that sounds pretty reasonable to me and i picked 13 just so we have a spare um, we'll see how many we get through i'm not going to have a very specific schedule i'm just typically the person who will sit down and read the next chapter and sometimes kids will yell read another chapter and then sometimes you do and sometimes you say sorry we don't have enough time today but I'll share what I have with you okay Anna Hibiscus um, has been recommended by many moms and you're gonna notice throughout a lot of these are chapter books that do have pictures in them which I think is really nice when you're just getting into chapter books they don't have long chapters they have pictures throughout to add some interest we also have The Adventures of Geraldine Wilkins. I read part of this to the boys um, when my oldest was in pre-K and it was kind of a bit much for them um, back then. It went okay, but it could have gone better, I think, if they were older and had a longer attention span. So now they'll be about two years older by the time we get to this and I think it'll be a much better fit for their understanding and attention span then. This is a short read aloud. Some of these I just picked because they were classic sunlight books that my mom had on her shelf. Always use what you have access to when you like it. Um, the Light at Turn Rock is a really fun, um, pretty exciting story uh, being at a lighthouse. This also has pictures. It's short, but I think one that's really engaging for the boys. Then The Hundred Dresses. This is actually scheduled in uh, morning virtues in the courage issue I believe it has pictures I remember reading this one as a kid and this is another childhood favorite Mrs. Piggle Wiggle I think every child should be read this book um, really funny but also gives you good um, conversation topics because Mrs. Piggle Wiggle is always curing children the won't pick up toys cure the selfishness cure never want to go to bed cure so she has her very creative cures for these problems of childhood and parenting. Uh, then a absolute classic, um, Charlotte's Web. I'm not even an animal person at all, but I absolutely love this book. I love the ending. I think um, the last sentences are some of the best last sentences in all of children's literature. They've always struck me with such poignancy um, and meaning. Really, really love this book. This is a beautiful edition that has, of course I won't be able to find it on a page, but it has colored illustrations throughout. And this was again my mom's. It really helps to have um, a mom who's also a homeschooler and a book collector. This one will actually be new to me. 
Let's see if it shows Roverandum. Uh, this will be an exciting one to read with the boys. I've really fallen in love with Tolkien over the last year as I was creating literature guides for The Lord of the Rings, and I'm excited to read one of his books for a younger audience. Then these two books are go together, Skunk and Badger, and then Egg Marks the Spot. So we'll read these one after another. I've heard these, highly recommended. This one is scheduled in sequence one, and most of the sequence one books are picture books, but this one is a chapter book. So I thought I would put it into our chapter book selection and I'll schedule it when we're reading about this portion in history, but I'll make it um, a chapter book that we're reading aloud over a period of time versus trying to sit down and read it like a picture book. And a few more fun ones, light ones. I might put these more toward the beginning of the year because they're a little on the easy side. The Adventures of a South Pole Pig. The Very, Very Far North. I've heard many, many homeschool moms recommend this. And then A Mouse Called Wolf. I believe this is by the same author as uh, Babe. Uh, Babe, which I'm mostly familiar with the movie and my boys love the movie Babe of the pig who herds sheep. Fantastic movie. Um, and I have not opened this book yet. You can see it's still in the wrapper, but I think this will be a nice, short, fun read aloud about Wolfgang Amadeus Mouse. <laughs> so those are the 13 read alouds I have planned. Um, and this will really be the first year where I'm very consistently incorporating reading chapter books into our school day. And I'm excited for this next level up. Picture books are awesome. We're still going to be reading a lot of picture books, but to begin reading these longer form stories and sharing chapter books with my boys is something I'm so excited for. Leave me a note down in the comments below. What's a read aloud that you are excited to share with your kids in the next year? And have you read any of these books? Let me know which one is your favorite. I'll be seeing you next time for more nerdy homeschool videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.